Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. We All right, friends. I've only been here for like 20 minutes, but in this pile right here, right here, I don't know if you can see it poking out, is a piece of Isabel Marant. Now, Isabel Marant is one of my favorite personal designers. Um, they make so much beautiful, romantic, embroidered type stuff. So I'm going to put it in my cart, and I'm going to pray that when I... When I pull it out, it does not have stains and holes and things like that. Now, you guys, look at this embroidered jean jacket. It, it's it is adorable. Look at that. Guess what brand it is? I've got my embroidered jean jacket on today for you. So I'm like, this is so cute. I don't think it would fit me. Look at all that embroidery, but it's LuLaRoe. All right, friends, this is your inspiration for the day. Bin's inspiration. Ready? I think someone made this. Life is tough, my darling, but so are you. I actually love that. I don't know if this is just something from, like, Michael's. It's on a piece of canvas. Jeez, that would be good in my psychotherapy office. All right, I'm having a rough day at the bins today in terms of finding stuff I like and then looking at it, and it's, like, all stained. Like, this is J. Joe. It's an extra small, which is not a good idea. This brand does good in large sizes, but look at all this heavy embroidery. But then it's got stains on it. Like, I'm just having this kind of day where it's like, keep finding this good stuff and then stains. So sad. Ooh, this is vintage J. Joe, but look at all this. I would wear this. Look at all this embroidery. That is beautiful. I'm such a sucker for embroidery and stuff. I think I just saw a stain on this. Look, a massive one. I can't take it today, you guys. Friends, before we get into the Goodwill Outlet bins, Thrift Haul, I want to take just a few minutes to talk to you about my reselling business and talk to you about my numbers. I just finished filing my taxes for 2023, so I'm very familiar with my numbers right now. And I am proud to say that I more than doubled my eBay sales in 2023. I'm a part-time reseller, um, but for me, I made the most money on eBay that I've ever made before. I made $43,000 in sales, so we do have to deduct cost of goods, we do have to deduct fees, but still, that's the highest number I personally have ever made as a part-time reseller. So I'm excited about that. I feel like I've got my eBay game down a little bit now. Where I need to grow is on Poshmark. So I only made $12,000 on Poshmark for the year, in 2023, so $43,000 compared to 12,000. So <laughs> my goal for 2024 is to increase my, pox, my Poshmark sales. How am I gonna do that? I'm going to use Prime Lister. They're sponsoring today's video. And how am I gonna use Prime Lister to grow my Poshmark sales? Poshmark wants us to be on the platform all the time. Poshmark wants us sharing and sharing other people's closets, our own closets. They want us following new closets. They're a social platform. And I don't know about you, but I do not have the time to sit on my phone and share items and follow people. So Prime Lister has created a tool that allows us to automate all those things that Poshmark wants us to do. I can do it all from my phone. It's extremely easy to do, but I can set it up one time that I want Prime Lister to share my closet for me. I can set the time that I want it to share for me. I can also do community shares. I can delete and relist items. I can share to parties. I can return shares. I can set it up one time on my phone and then Prime Lister will automatically do it for me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you are at home manually sharing your Poshmark closet, it's my opinion that you are wasting a lot of time. <laughs> Don't do that. You're wasting time if you're doing that. You can, you can use that time to do other important things in your business, like thrift more, like list more items. So I'm going to be using Prime Lister in 2024 to set my goal of increasing my Poshmark sales. And I know that this app, which I can do right from my phone, is going to help me to do that because it's going to automate all the things that Poshmark wants me to do on there so that I can make more sales and ultimately make more money. So I have a link in the description section that'll take you to Prime Lister. 
You can try it free for two weeks. You don't put a credit card in or anything. Just give it a shot, click the link, try it out, and then let me know how it goes. If you use my link and you decide to sign up, you'll also get a discount on Prime Lister as well. I'm looking forward to making more sales using Prime Lister in 2024. Good morning, friends. I don't know when you're watching this, but it is a Sunday morning here in Northern California. I bought all this bin stuff on Friday. It's now Sunday morning, and as usual, I'm out of things to list, so <laughs> we are going to do a haul. If you're newer to my channel, I'm Quenby. I resell on eBay and Poshmark part-time. I'm a full-time psychotherapist. I do have another channel all about mental health. If you're interested in that, it's at The Grateful Therapist. I really try and cater to newer resellers. I know I have a ton of experienced resellers um, who watch the channel, but I try and give a lot of keywords so that when you're listing your item on eBay or Poshmark or wherever you sell, people can find your item. So I'll let you know why I bought it. I'll try and share as many keywords, style terms, brands, and let you a little bit into my thinking um, of why I bought the item and maybe what I think it'll sell for because I really want you to learn something. So we're gonna dive in and I hope you find something useful in this video. This is an, a fantastic brand. I'm pulling this stuff right out of the bin right out of my Ikea bag. So it's wrinkly, it's not the best presentation, but I will make it look great. This is Rami Brook. They make a lot of silk dresses. I think they're best known for like their dresses. Rami, I'm, I'm holding the tag up there. Note the spelling on this. This is a gorgeous, I guess like kimono top in this beautiful cobalt blue, tons of lace, lace up the back. This might, I might uh, list this like as a swim cover up so I use the word cover up in there lace open front where am I putting all this stuff there you go <laughs> this is a men's Patagonia shirt I have to look this up at first I thought it was vintage because look at the but they might just be bringing back like a vintage graphic is that showing up for you guys hello peekaboo <laughs> this to me looks like a vintage graphic but it is printed on the back of the shirt. So my guess is they're using this um, logo again. There we go, love finding Patagonia at the bins. This is a pair of men's Levi's. I don't pick up all Levi's, but these ones are 501s and they're in a 34, 32. Hey, I think that's babe size. Maybe these will go to PD. They're kind of a cool color. I like the 501 style. Um, and they're kind of expensive. The 501s are really good. I sometimes will buy the 512s or the 505s. <laughs> um, not everything in Levi's sells as well. This is a Theory dress. Theory is an extremely expensive brand, sold at Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, stuff like that. Um, it doesn't always resell for as much as I think it should. It, it's typically not like a super fast mover, but when it does sell, I can usually get 30 or $40 for it. This is a sundress, and I'm trying to work out these complicated straps. <laughs> I think it has like a crisscross. There we go. A green pleated front knee length A-line dress with a nice crisscross strappy back. I'll hope to get 35 or 40 for that, and it probably... Well, who knows? I look forward to it selling promptly. <laughs> Might as well put out there what we want to have happen, right? But my experience tells me it's usually not quick mover. This is Pretty Angel. This is a boho romantic brand. I get to use all my favorite keywords. I wish this was a larger size because like most things, it does better in the larger size. This is a medium and it still has their pull tag. So I'm thinking... Uh, this is like new without tags. There was so much of this stuff and so much of it was damaged. Oh my gosh. Can you get any more romantic? Look at, they've got embroidery, they've got lace, they have a flare sleeve, ruffles. So I get to use all those fantastic keywords. You wanna do a little try on? I love standing by this mirror because women will come over and they will like literally try on everything over their shorts, over their pants. And I just think it's kind of fun and amusing to see. Okay, I have to pass on this piece and it makes me so sad. I'm going to show you the brand. Look at, this is the most romantic brand. 
The brand is called Pretty Angel. I'll show you the tag. Look at all this lace. It's just over the top, like shabby chic. Here's the brand, Pretty Angel. Like most things, it does best in larger sizes, but it's got armpit wear, which is actually really hard to get out, you guys. Um, I mean, I could, yeah, It's it's got multiple stains and issues. Oh, that's so sad, because I just like that piece. That's been happening today, I have to say, where I found some good stuff, but not in good shape like this. Oh my god, this is killing me today, you guys. This is the real deal with the bins. Look at all these stains. This is a Free People 1 dress, which is a better line of Free People too. Um, where's, oh, here's the tag is all. It says FP1, Free People 1, but this thing is just nailed. I wonder if I could just like put it in some OxyClean and bleach, but it's got like stains everywhere. Ugh. A smock dress with all these layers of lace. Oh my gosh, it kills me. All right, I have to show you this. I put it in my cart just to show. It's kind of neat. This is one of those Mexican, you know, hooded, whatever they call them. But this one comes with a little note in the pocket that says, Jose bought this for somebody Michael, Mexico, in 1992 when Michael was around eight years old. I just find that touching for some reason. Do I need this thing? No. I'm going to leave the little note in the pocket. Although, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this thing. Oh, what's on the other side? Some notes. Some journaling. Huh. Yeah. Hey, babe, what'd you bring home? Some flowers. Aww. And... Death by chocolate cake. <gasps> <laughs> this is my mom, Grateful Babette. We haven't seen yeah, her in a little hello. while. I'm just... Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this I bought... I, oh, no. No, this I bought. I'm going to look it up. I'm hoping I can use the lag and look category. I don't know this brand. Kamana. Lag and look stands for layering look. It's a very bohemian art teacher look. Um, and this is like an open front cardigan and it has all these cool details. Look at the mesh back. It's got mixed media, so different fabrics and prints. So I'm going to list this like this. Kamina woman's medium top. And then I'm going to put art to wear, artsy, lag and look, boho. Then I'll decide what I think this is. It's not, I guess it's a top, layering top I might put. I love having those things. Ooh, an Eileen Fisher size extra large sweater, fantastic. I pick up everything Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher makes a lot of staple pieces, a lot of minimalist pieces. It's, it is so expensive retail. And this is an extra large, kind of a mock neck waffle knit sweater. Love, love that. Oh, look, I found this at the bins. <laughs> I actually want to put this in my, um, in my hip pack that I bring with me to the bins because sometimes I'm like, will this fit me? And I know my measurements because in order for me to shop online myself, I have to use measurements because I'm not like a typical body size or type. Uh, and so often I'm like, oh, I need this on the waist. So, and I usually have it like this all the time <laughs> when I'm at home working. These things are great. This I got because it's a novelty print of Foxes. I don't know the brand, but it's a cute tag, Holly and White. White is spelled differently. It's got Euro sizing. Maybe it doesn't even have US sizing. So this might be like um, popular in Europe or something. Took a chance on it though, because look at the print. Foxes. I love selling things with uh, novelty prints like pineapples or, you know, little animals. People like that stuff. It's cute. Oh, this is a free people top. Gosh, I hope this doesn't have a major flaw that I overlooked because it was painful this day. There was so much new tag stuff. I think oh, it must have been returns from Marshalls or something. And it was new with tag, cool items like this, but there were flaws on almost everything. 
Oh gosh, look at the embroidery on this Free People top. This is a flutter ruffle sleeve. It has pom-poms in the back. <laughs> I love a pom-pom. This retailed by Free People for $128. And I'm a little nervous that I'm going to look at it and find a big hole or stain or something because so much of it had it. Returns. I think this is a return. Anyway, hopefully I won't. I don't see anything now. Hopefully I won't find anything and that'll be a good fix. A good pickup. Now this is also for people. I'm in love with this. It has a new tag on it, but it's clearly not new. So what I think somebody did... Here's the free people, in case you're newer. There's a little bar tag, it says free people on it, and then the hanging is usually the size. And this is a 12. Now I'm a 12, and I don't think this would fit me. Oh my goodness, it's a moto style. See how it has that asymmetric zipper in those pockets? That's a moto style jacket, but it's made out of like brocade, almost looks like a carpet, <laughs> which I love. But So it has these new tags on it. Um, and, but it's clearly not new. Like my guess is somebody bought this, maybe put it in the washing machine and then said, oh, now it has little threads on it. So I'm going to return it. That's not a nice thing to do. This is a boys marmot large fleece marmot, an expensive REI type brand. And this is a boys full zip fleece. You know I love my bras at the bins. This is Wacol. I like picking up this brand. It's a 34 triple D. I check to make sure they're very clean and that the hooks are not damaged and that it has a size and style number. And I picked this up for probably like 25 cents and I'll probably be able to sell it for like 15 bucks or so. All right. This is We The Free, which is also free people. I list it all as free people. Free people, we the free, whatever it says, I still list it as free people. This is a medium. It's got like a mock neck, a dolman, so it's very wide across the chest. And it goes down to, this is like a kimono sleeve. See the shape of that? That's cool. What I hope I will find on the inside material tag is the OB number so that I can search for the style name and the stock photo. Here it is, it's usually inside here. You're looking for this number on the inside. Down at the bottom here, it says OB. A lot of brands have a style number, and I like to look those up to at least get the name because it, I think it's easier to sell with that information. <gasps> this is another free people. This thing is amazing. It's similar to one that was in a recent video, you guys, that sold for $79.99. So I couldn't find the brand on this, but I'm like, that is so free people -y. It's an oversized blush pink sweatshirt. And then it comes down and it has like a long layering piece. There is no tag at the neck. Someone cut it out, but I'm like, I know this has got to be free people. It looks like it. So I went in here to the material tag again to find the tag. So this is an extra small, which is ridiculous. Please note, Free People is run so oversized. I would definitely put measurements in because this looks like a large. And it says down here, imported for urban outfitters. So uh, hopefully I can use Google Lens to find that piece. This could be one of the best pieces in the haul. This is very cool. I don't know anything about it, but I thought this is cool. It's a flannel and it's all intentionally bleached and distressed like this and then the back is a knit and it has some cute saying something about california but look at this cool tag the laundry room california one size so i don't know if this is like someone's diy company it's a cool tag but i i will sell that with lots of cool keywords i bought this in green and in purple <laughs> this one's a different brand that's weird this is a genuine leather suede crop jacket with tons of lace and embroidery details. It, this one does have the new tag, but what is so funny about this to me, Gantos, I don't know what that is, is you'll see in another part of the video that I bought this in green, the exact same jacket. It is a totally different name brand, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I think I bought this for my son. He only wears these silky tops. Let's 
is this? Sometimes, does this happen to you guys where it's like, did I actually buy this stuff? Like, <laughs> it was two days ago. I cannot remember. These are nice. If you've been selling as long as I have, then you know that LuLaRoe is crap. <laughs> but it used to be for a while there, like a bolo. I've never seen anything like this by them, though. I would wear this. I think it's going to be too small for me, though. LuLaRoe. I hope my Isabel Marant clip came out. If not, I'm going to repeat it here that in my pile is a piece of Isabel Marant, one of my absolute favorite designers. So I guess I could pull it out and look at it now, but I'm afraid. Oh, I'll show you the tag. Absolutely gorgeous. All embroidered. I don't see any issues, but oh, I do see an issue. There's been a repair. Oh, gosh. There goes that. That's so disappointing. All right, I think this is just so funny. I have to show you. It's a sweatshirt covered in pugs. My sister has two pugs. She's like totally a pugs person. That is hilarious. Cute. Friends, I am interrupting this video because I find myself in the same position again of I don't have anything to list. I need to start going through the stuff I got at the bins. So I'm going to haul a few items that I got at the bins. It's part of the same haul on the same bin shopping day, but I am not in the position right now to record a whole video. I just need to like get a few things out of this bag so I can steam them and photograph them and have more to list today. So um, this is a vintage baby brand called Sweet Potatoes. What I look for with vintage baby clothes and I'm in no means like a vintage baby expert, but what I'm looking for is that it's stuff on the tag that it says made in the USA. So this is sweet potatoes. It is so cute. It's like a one piece little velvety dress with a bear on it and some leggings. It's just like super cute. So I'm going to get that photograph today. This is one of my favorite outdoor brands to resell. That's the logo and it's cool K-U-H-L. I have to figure out if this is men's or women's cool. It's a fleece vest. So um, right now I'm filming this um, at the end of February 2024. And I am starting to think about picking up spring and summer stuff. This is one of the few things that I got as part of that Newid Tags. Like there was all this Newid Tags Marshall stuff. And I think what it must have been was returns. And they were not stored well or something. They were mostly flaws. SMH Boutique. I have no care about that. This is such a good boho. This is leather. Genuine suede leather. And then all this crochet detail. So I love this. I think I got one in purple too. It's 80% leather, 20% rayon. That's the trim part. Size small. This is going to be great. I'm going to put boho, bohemian festival it is a free people skirt it's so cute look at the print it's like a blue and white print and it's just a straight denim skirt but it's a size 12 i love finding free people in larger sizes like if i find stuff that's in a large it just sells really well it has a zip down the back that's really cute i'll go inside i'll see if i can find here it is the material tag and what we're looking for is this number, OB. And then I put that into Google and I'll get the style name. If you choose to use stock photos or not, you could get that too. The This is Athleta. And the reason I'm more excited about these, that's their little logo there, that like flower, um, is because... This is a newer style, I know, because the style's printed right on here, and it says, um, Salutation Jogger. So, jogger pants and things like that are doing way better, and there's a small tall. I love that. I love having tall and stuff. So, these are from 2020. All this information is right on the tag. Oh, this is a logo for Beyond Yoga. They sell yoga clothing. <laughs> I'm going to have to look up these style because look at this super high elastic waist. This is called ruching when it's gathered on the side. These almost look like they could be maternity, but they could also just be high-waisted leggings. Um, 
or fold over leggings. Here's the, oh, well, there we go. These are Beyond Yoga, Beyond the Bump, made in the USA, size small. So these are maternity leggings. That actually might work out for me. They're a full-length black uh, metallic legging. What else can I pull? I'm just going to pull this stuff, you guys, and I'm going to, to photograph it right away. Oh, I like these. This is the brand Mod Cloth. Mod Cloth is somehow connected to Anthropology. Maybe it used to be sold there or something. Um, these are size 14. Mod Cloth in plus sizes is what does the best. Mod Cloth dresses, they're known for like their really cool prints, so I wonder how these will do. These have a sailor front. See how it's a flat front and then buttons down the side. Sometimes the buttons will have little arrows and it's like a really a sailor front, but these are navy blue corduroys and they come down to like a wide leg flare. Hiking and camping season, you guys, is coming up. So I like to have a lot of things in my store that I can use that keyword. This is REI Co-op. I've talked about this before. If it says Co-op, C-O-O-O-P, it's a newer line it's an eco line. It's been selling great for me. And this is an extra large. It's just a men's full zip brown REI sweatshirt. The thing looks like in impeccable condition. Zippered pockets. So what, I was like, what I'll do is put REI co-op men's hoodie sweatshirt. Outdoor camping, hiking. Um, and we'll get that stuff ready for the season. Real quick. Oh. This is a Madewell shirt. I'm picky with Madewell, like most of us are now. It's not the bolo that it used to be, but some stuff still does well. This is an XL. So I was like, yeah, I'll get a Madewell XL. And it's like a minimalist shirt. It's either light yellow or maybe it's like cream. Um, it's got the two pockets. It's a pop over because the buttons do not go all the way down. They're just to the chest. So that's a pop over. It looks oversized. It's got side slits. Let's see, this one has a style number two. So I can look up this style number. That's helpful. 100% cotton. So I just like the style on this and I like the big size. So that's a few things for me to get listed. I can go do that and I'll let you guys get back to the haul. These are Nike. I don't buy a lot of Nike because I don't know a lot about it. I don't know what the desirable items are. Um, it's just not my niche, okay? But these are so cool looking. They're a size 36. They feel so neat, almost like structured in some way. They're like a chino pant, and they have these bright white accents and a bright white swoosh. I want to try and find these because maybe they're like Nike Golf or... Let's see what, if I think they put style, yeah, they put style names in here too. So I'm going to try and look these up. They're from fall 2021, so pretty recent. I just thought with these with pops of white that these were interesting enough. They feel amazing. What's this? What is this? <laughs> I got some clown pants. <laughs> these are bloomers with a bell-bottom flare and they're a good kids brand called jelly the pug i pick up some kids stuff if it's good enough if it's good brands those are fun right some little girl is gonna rock those and have a good time it'll be adorable free people size medium again with the bar tag size medium very lightweight gauzy oversized top High, low hem, lots of seam details, super light and nice. I don't remember picking up any of this stuff. <laughs> Something wrong with me. The bins are so fast paced. There's so much craziness going on. I do my best to sort well. Sometimes I do better than others with my quality control. Um, so I think my brain is a little like, ooh, when I'm there because I can't remember. This is also free people. This is a tank top and it's and it's like knit in the middle and it has a peplum hem very romantic feminine style where it goes in at the waist and then out again really cute and pretty maybe i can get 20 bucks for that this is a very good pickup for me this is jj wherever collection i talk about this a lot 
this particular line of jail called wherever sells well for me. So I'm looking for that. This is a medium. Again, I wish it was larger, but this is a full maxi midi dress in this like window pane plaid, super stretchy, really comfortable. This little tiny slip of a bra. <laughs> Victoria's Secret new with tag size small. I guess I'd call this like a bralette. No padding, no lining, but hopefully I can get $15 for that. This I don't know, but it is so lag and looky boho that we are going to learn about it. Maria Calderera, made in Italy. What do I always say? What do I always say? My regular should be saying it out loud right now. If it says made in Italy, I'm usually picking it up. You could change that to yourself and say, I'm gonna look it up because if you're newer or something, this is a top. It's black, it's gauzy thin. I don't know exactly what's going on with it. <laughs> this is like, a, I thought it was a hood, but it's like a ruffly collar. I mean, this could fit into every category. This could be Victorian. This could be goth. This could be bohemian. Whoa, the sunlight is totally coming in on me. Made in Italy. The tag just got me. So I don't know. I have to steam this up, figure out how it goes. Oh, it does have these buttons, so it does close shut. It's got a lot of pin tucks on it. Made in Italy. Pick it up. We've got some Lululemon. Lululemon. I don't know this style just by looking at these, so that's interesting. A lot of the styles of leggings by this point I can recognize, like the Fast and Free or the Aligns. Fortunately, these ha are a newer style. They have. I looked in the little pocket. I found this size dot, size 2. There's numbers and letters around the size dot. I'll put that into Google. These are in really good shape for pre-owned. One giant bag down. I, how are we doing? I think I'm going nice and fast so we can get through as much as we can together. These have to go in the wash, but these are Patagonia swim trunks. Um, there's the Patagonia. Patagonia men's swim trunks in a size 35. They have to be washed, okay? This is a very expensive brand. I don't know how well known it is by everybody. It's Margaret O'Leary. You could like open another tab in Google, Margaret O'Leary, and see just how expensive their stuff is. This is an extra small. It's a 100% wool jacket with a hood and some pockets. Very expensive knitwear, sweaters and things like that. These are gold because they're Eileen Fisher. I already told you I love that brand, but they're a 1X. That's what you want to look for, plus size Eileen Fisher. I mean, I'll pick all of it up, but... And these are just a black elastic waist pull-on pant. This I am so excited about. Would you be? <laughs> this is either like you appreciate this or I could see where you totally hate it. So uh, at my bins, on one side of the room is all the bins of hard goods. Hard goods is like everything that's not clothes. I don't usually go over there because I'm more of a clothing seller. But when they were wheeling out, I just saw this and I'm like, oh, a mustardy leather thing. So at my bins, when they, when they put the new bins out, everybody runs towards them. You're not supposed to run, but everybody does. It's a chaotic moment. Everyone's bunched together. People are trying to get a spot in the new bins. I just go to the clothes. Well, this time I saw this and I beelined over to the hard goods, grabbed it out and then ran back to the clothes. This is a leather purse, a mustardy color leather purse. I can't wait to look this up. The brand is Tano, T-A-N-O. Needs a little cleanup inside. I have no problem doing purse cleanup. I hate cleaning shoes, but I don't mind purses. Now, what am I gonna say? I'll probably wanna keep this, but I'll look it up and see what the deal is. Maybe it's some obscure brand and I'll get to keep it because I don't think it's worth much. <laughs> These are Gap, they're an XXL. I'm trying to get ready for spring and summer, guys. Are you doing that? Are you starting in your business? These are linen with pockets, shorts. Around this time, I'm filming this at the end of February. You're probably watching it a few weeks later. I start thinking summer 
dresses, spring, trying to get my store ready. I'll still buy whatever at any time of the year if it's a good item, but I do focus on things like this. Like this is an REI XXL vest. The reason I'm focusing on things like this brown zipper pocket vest is because we'll start moving into hiking, camping, outdoor season. And so I like to have a lot of this stuff. Um, for this, this is a newer piece. For this, I will put in my title, REI Men's XXL Vest. Maybe some specifics about the vest, but I'll put hiking, camping, outdoor, stuff like that. Put that in my video. Here's my cart at 10.30. I did miss a full round. Um, I just think it's funny because it's a very Quenby cart. Like, it looks very romantic, right? Like, very boho -y. Look at all this lace and crochet and eyelet and... Ooh, it makes me so happy. So I was actually gonna take this, but I found a flaw. This is a 100% suede leather midi skirt. It's by Ann Taylor. That's an older Ann Taylor tag, and it's a 12, so I'm like, that's a good size. And what a classic style. But on the back here, on the slit, there's a, a hole there. That is too bad, because I think that's actually a pretty timeless piece. Ooh, this, I didn't realize this Victoria's Secret bat bra that I grabbed is new with tags. Have you ever been in there? Okay, this bra was $34.50. It's like a scrap, an absolute scrap of, like, this is not gonna cost me like 10 cents. It's like <laughs> $34.50 for that little scrap of a bra. It doesn't have pads, doesn't have wires. Okay, Victoria's Secret. All right, just to give you a sense of what 40, was it 40 or 45 pounds? Looks like it was a total of $158 for all of this. This is an enormous Ikea bag. I'm out of breath because I literally had to carry all this to the car because there's actually like a fire drill happening. <laughs> they had to evacuate the bins to do a fire drill. And I had just checked out, like literally she rang me up and then it's like fire drill. Isn't this cute? A little, Frida Callow shopping bag. This is gonna be an enormous haul. I've gotta figure out if I can like make you guys watch hour long videos of hauls. Some of you really like it. Cause you just put it on in the background. You don't have to switch up videos, you know? Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Put that in my title, description, tags, all the stuff. This I bought even though it's an extra, extra small. Extra, extra small. Hold that thought because I need my water break and I would like to get a thumbs up from you because I actually brought my water over. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've got some um, hydration tablets in there. Yeah, if you've watched the channel for a while, every video I have to get up and take a water break because I don't bring it over, but today I did. I loved this dress so I bought it even though it's an extra, extra small, which is a harder sell. So let me tell you why I bought it. It's an extra extra small petite. That is really rough. This is a, a long maxi. Long maxis and midi dresses do better than other things. It's also a true wrap and it has a puff sleeve. Love that keyword. It's rust color. It's got, it's a true wrap dress. So that means it has the tie that goes all the way around. It's not sewn shut into a faux wrap. Amazing color, amazing style. So I bought it. Boom, 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 moving right along. I'm so good at going faster. Again, this is a Columbia. This thing looks brand new. It's an XXL men's Columbia raincoat. Outdoor hiking, camping stuff. This is very lightweight. It's not um, lined or anything. It's like a true raincoat. This thing looks new. Like, I usually don't mark things as excellent condition. Do you guys? Like, back in the day, I've been reselling 12 years. Back in the day, I got a few returns with people saying, the seller says this is excellent pre-owned condition. I don't think it's excellent. And I was like, oh gosh. So now I just put gently used without flaws. Pre-owned condition without flaws. It's rare for me to use the excellent, but on this thing, I think I might be able to use the excellent because it's in such great condition. And that that's light. Okay, you guys, I'm a t-shirt bro. 
if you know, you know, if you go to the bins, every bins I've ever been to, there are the t-shirt bros. Those are the young guys. Most of them are young, but who are looking for the t-shirts. They want the vintage t-shirts. They want the band t-shirts. They know all about them. I don't know all about them. I know to look for single stitch. I know to look for certain tags like this one because I've learned this is the Hanes Beefy Tee. I can't remember exactly offhand, but I have it on my phone what years this tag is. So you can Google this tag with this font and it'll tell you what years it was made. Now, luckily for me, this graphic says 1992 on it. This is a Club Trees Off the Beaten Track Hey Now Products 1992 t-shirt. <laughs> so I'm at my cart holding up my tea and of course some of the t-shirt bros came over. They're like, whoa, that's our kind of stuff over there. It was such a funny moment. I'm like, I know. Um, has stains on it. They said it doesn't matter. I'm gonna soak it in some OxyClean or something. What you're looking for is this single stitch. It, it's a little bit hard to describe, but there's only one line of stitching. I, and so I don't know when it was, like 2000s that they started doing. A modern t-shirt has two lines of stitching. So I can't wait to have fun with those. Here's another one. Uh, this one's really stained again, but it's a, the Hanes Beefy Tee. This graphic on the Hanes Beefy Tee is different than that other one. So that'll help me date. I don't even know what this is but I'm going to become a t-shirt bro. <laughs> Let me know if you've got t-shirt bros at your thrift stores and men's and what experiences you've had. At my place, they're really great. I love them all. Uh, this is a Adventures Day Toile. I think it's French, so I'm saying it totally wrong. Good bohemian uh, kind of brand. These are wide leg, lagging look boho -y pants. They are like parachute pants because look at this. And it has buttons on the hem. These are, these are made well, so that's definitely a boho -y lagging look. This has stains. I'm, I was willing to take the risk because it's J. Jill 1X Linen. So J. Jill has different lines. The Love Linen is one of my favorite to sell and wear personally, and it's plus size. It's got some makeup around the neckline and one stain on there that I'm going to try and stain treat. I'll wear it if it doesn't work. It's sort of a, a wide dolman linen shirt. It actually has stains all over it. I don't know why I bought that. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because, uh, you know, that can be a $30, $40 item that I'm picking up for a couple dollars because it's a plus size J. Jill and it's love linen. So I really want it to work out. <laughs> but um, that might've been too stained. This thing's amazing. It's heavy, so I probably paid $7 for it if it's two pounds. This thing is amazing. I wish I got it earlier in the season. This is a poncho, an anthropology poncho. It's got like, I think that it might be called like an eyelash fabric where it's sort of fringy, super oversized women's poncho by anthropology size medium large. This, this is a very large item. I love this tag. You know, without a doubt, it actually is anthropology. This thing's amazing. It's very heavy. I'm going to have to ship that in like a medium flat rate or a large flat rate box. So you always have to consider that because that eats into my profits. If it's, if they have buyer has to pay that much for shipping, you know, they might not pay as much for the item because with shipping, it's going to be pretty expensive. We have a Lulu crop top. This thing's awesome. This might be the Align crop top. It's got a built in bra and pads. It's in really great condition. Pads are still in here. I was looking, here's the size dot, it's a size four. And um, these are very popular right now. So I'm sure I can sell this for 25, maybe 30. I just sold for 25 in a line, just the bra, and it wasn't as substantial as this. Okay, if you wore this, let me know in the comments if this was your, your time. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> OMG, I have no words <laughs> except to say, I think this is 80s, it could be 90s, denim cropped jacket by the brand. There's no tags. Landing gear, oh, that must be the brand, it's on the little buttons, landing gear. <laughs> Look at these details around the neck. 
80s, here I am. So I'm just gonna use keywords. I'm gonna say vintage 1980s women crop denim jacket. I guess I'll, th if I learn that Landing Gear makes a bunch of other stuff, I'll put the title, I'll put it in the title, but if nobody's selling anything by Landing Gear, I'm not even gonna put it in the title. I'm just gonna use acid wash, stone wash, crop denim jacket, yes. I showed you this at the bins. It is stained, I'm aware. You don't need to point it out. Um, <laughs> okay, let me just address that. I get a lot of comments. Everybody's great in the comments. I love you guys. I don't get a lot of trolls and hurtful comments, although somebody did me leave me a comment to let me know that I've gained weight. Someone's comment was, you've gained weight. I'm like, gee, thanks. <laughs> so it does happen. You know, that's YouTube land. But a lot of people feel the need to point out, like, I'll hold up this jacket, and they'll say, that jacket has a stain. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> After this, I go, I wash everything or steam it, I take photos, I'm going to catch the stains. Um, I know they're there. But this is a made in France brand called Iro, I-R-O, or Euro, no idea. But when it says made in France and it has a cool tag, this is sort of a white textured knit jacket, snap front zipper pockets. I guess it's kind of tweed, kind of like the original Chanel suit fabric. So I'm gonna have to stain treat this and hope I can get it out because if I can get it out, it was worth taking the risk because that will be a great sale. What else do we have for you? Oh, we have a Ro Lauren Ralph Lauren hoodie in a size medium. I pick up this brand now because it just sells consistently. I've sold t-shirts and turtlenecks even. This one's especially good because it has the emblem. When it has that embroidered emblem on stuff, people love it. So that ups the value a little bit. Ooh, I love this sort of thing. I own a lot of these. This is Lucky Brand size extra small. And it's one of these utility, cargo, military, jackets. I've always bought these and sold them. They do great in the fall. What's in there? Oh, I thought I heard something in the pocket. Yeah, these sell great for me in the fall. It's such a good staple piece. I own several of those. This I took a risk on because it's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I think it's homemade because the brand is Vintage Creations and it, I think it's made out of a vintage chenille bedspread. Look at this thing. It's a pink floral jacket. And then the sleeve is made out of like that vintage bedspread material, I think. This thing is awesome. It's like a lightweight jacket or a blazer jacket with one giant button closure. So I'll see if there's anything on this brand. I might even try that on. That is the coolest thing. Getting down to it. Okay, you guys, this I know has no, no tag, but I know because I've sold this a lot. This is a brand called Synergy Organics. And most of the stuff looks like this. It's got not this style of top, but that embroidery there. Um, I picked up a lot of this stuff. I think there might be a tag inside, but um, yeah, there's a tag inside. This is 100% organic, but I know the brand is Synergy. A one shoulder, organic. So when something's organic, I put organic in my title and I also use the words eco, eco-friendly, sustainable, stuff like that. And we're finishing off strong with an Athleta hoodie. Athleta size large, so that's good. I think this is an older Athleta tag. Athleta, boom, boom, boom. And it is like a, a longer line hooded sweatshirt in a bright hot pink. Super great feeling fabric, so there we go. Huge pile plus that other clip that I showed you earlier. My total was $157 for all that. It just blows my mind. I'm so grateful for the bins. I'm so grateful for you for watching, leaving me great comments. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up on the way out. I just appreciate you being here. We're about to hit 10K. It has taken me a very long time because as you know, I only put out like one video a week. So um, it's been a little bit more of a climb but I'm okay with that. I've built really great relationships with all of you here on the channel, and I just appreciate your support so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I, don't, I don't want this tilted. That's always a problem. Like, don't tilt.
down, you know? Don't do it. Come out. <laughs> it's me. It still looks down to me. I want you up. I want you back a little more. <sighs> now you're crooked. This is not an easy gig, you guys. To go up higher then. Because then I'm looking down. How many videos have you made? Literally hundreds. And you still struggle with the camera. <laughs> it's crazy. Craziness. That'll have to do. Move this thing. Okay, friends, I don't think I've ever stayed all day at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. <laughs> Usually by 12, 1230, I can get like 40 pounds, but it took, it took all day this time. It was a little bit, it was great in the beginning, then it was just kind of slow, and then um, great at the end. So it always works out at the end if you can stay. That's been my experience. I've never left the bins unhappy. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, but we get it done. So... Oh, I'm out of breath. I haven't eaten anything except a, an egg <laughs> and some coffee this morning. So I gotta go home and make something good to eat. So I can take this business call. And here are some adult briefs. <laughs> Ben's life. I love Ben's life. It's crazy and weird. And I love the people. And it's great. I don't get fingers crossed like for, uh, or is it knock on wood? It's one of those idioms. Let's skip that.